This is a story, my story, a short story in the ongoing story of my life. I also think, why I am doing this sharing? Am I immature? Am I a fool? But when I see the commonness of all individuals and see from a higher pedestal of awareness, it feels like whole human race is a small community which is able to move in the path of well-being by sharing experiences and gathering mutual hope, strength, courage, love and unity. My son is a special youth with autism. He was attending this school slash vocational training center. My son was suffering severe anxiety for past two to three months. We sent a voice recorder with him to understand his situation, which otherwise we had no means of finding out. The facts the recordings revealed was shocking. I was devastated to sit through those five hours with multiple episodes of beatings, scoldings, threatening from the support staff of the center, the van driver, the so-called certified special teachers who get to work closely with our children. They were all using limitations of our children and letting their emotions dance and destroy our children's self-esteem. They were using fear, instilling fear, and they were growing the fear in our children to just get through the day, to just make the day roll by until the payday. Disability, speciality, difference, and discomfort, these are viewed by us as something to remedy, something to sweep clean off, keep aside and away. But, just like a miner, if we can see gold inside the ore, we as community become smart and walk towards glory. It is to be considered a privilege, an enriched way of life, to get opportunity to work closely with this aspect of life. So, as expected, the school became defensive to acknowledge the truth and take actions. But we filed a complaint to State Commissioner of Disability, who in turn requested police to investigate and share the report. Now, we proactively approached the police. A moderation session was summoned by police and the inspector did a good job. Though I would have been happier to see the culprits behind the bars or pay a handsome penalty, I understand life is balanced and this balance in life is its beauty and this is to be respected. The culprits apologized and school agreed to install CCTV cameras in all spaces. Also, they will come back on rejoining my son to school. I requested to have my son readmitted because raising issues should not be seen as crime. Nobody has to pay price to raise issues. Also, my son was missing his buddies. See, amidst all this horrifying experience, our children were connecting and drawing strength in each other's company as friends. We are minimalists in defining happiness and success. So yes, we, were, we uh, are happy and we got success. As parent, I need not feel hesitant to raise the issues, which I keep feeling intuitively as existing in society. Maintaining status quo is very blindly accepted by all of us as maintaining well-being. Please give this a deeper thought. Listen to your inner self. Honestly put forth your best foot forward towards solutions. We will definitely be supported by and helped by, by many good souls in our combined journey. Asatoma Sadgamaya Om Shanti